Man Mayor Rudy Giuliani handed Kennedy's butt to her and she brought it all on herself. This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. Click on the link below. Make sure you put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get a 20% discount. What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And I ran across some nonsense on Fox News, y'all. Yeah, man. There are some idiots on Fox News. Not all of them. You got some great reporting. And I'm about to show y'all a, you know, a compare and contrast between good reporting and some garbage reporting. Because there are some folks that you could pretty much on Fox guarantee every time they have something to say, it's going to be crazy. It's going to support left wing ideology. It's going to try their best to make excuses for Democrats, horrible policies, um, their lies, their deception, their corruption, all of that stuff. You know, you got your Juan Williams in there. You know, Juan and Juan uh, used to be Shep. But Shep couldn't take the heat no more, I guess. Um, and then, you know, every once in a while, they might sprinkle in a little bit of Donna Brazil. Uh, but Kennedy from The Five interviewed Mayor Giuliani. I don't know what she was thinking, but I need to start off, first of all, with showing folks how good reporting is done from the best that's doing it right now. You know who it is. Tucker the Carlson. Last week, we learned how his vice president, Joe Biden, altered this country's foreign policy to help his son's lobbying interests. Big tech and the national media tried hard to kill that story, but it hasn't really gone away. Facts are like that. They tend to persist. They're hard to erase. This afternoon, the New York Post published yet another newsworthy document taken from Hunter Biden's personal laptop. It's a photograph, undated, that shows Joe and Hunter Biden posing with a man called Kenneth Rakashev. Rakashev is an oligarch from the nation of Kazakhstan, the former Soviet satellite country. He has close ties to that nation's corrupt government. Reportedly, Hunter Biden helped Rakashev stash his fortune here in the United States. This new photograph reveals that Hunter Biden also provided Rakashev with access to his father. So it would be worth knowing a lot more about this. That's all we know. But we should know more before we vote in two weeks. For example, how much money changed hands? What did the Bidens do in return for that money, if anything? We should know. And maybe we'll learn the answers because there's an awful lot of material on that laptop. The leaders of the Democratic Party are very aware of that, of course, and it terrifies them. So they're doing everything they can to prevent you from seeing that information before you make up your mind. Now, did y'all hear Tucker? He wasn't going to sit back and let the fake phony news or surrogates from, you know, Joe Biden's camp or Joe Biden and Hunter themselves with them simply dodging to respond and answer tough questions, get away with it. This man called him out, said, look here, we got some proof. We know that he knew. Use some common sense here, and I'm not going to let it go. I'm not going to let it go. Now, unlike all the other fake news networks who tiptoed around it, didn't want to touch it, looked at it like it was controversial, Tucker decides he's going to interview the witnesses and find out what they have to say so he can get to the bottom of this. Now, why is Tucker the only one trying to get to the bottom of things? Shawnee boy, and of course, you know, you got Laura. But Tucker went so far as to interview the guy, Bobolinsky, who gave even more details outside of the laptop that's laid out for everybody to see. Now, I'm thinking... Unless you are either the worst reporter in the world or you're in cahoots with the Democrat Party, there's no way you can overlook this information. Choose not to go look at it, read it, evaluate it, interview some people, ask some questions, and still come to the conclusion that you're making stuff up. Am I? You're at least going to, you know, come and check it out. How about making a call to Bob Alinsky yourself, say, hey, can we get you in here? So now, all of these fake networks who haven't done any of that are just coming up with the whole Russia narrative. Forget the proof. Forget the fact that you can go look at the information yourself. We just trust our people who we didn't hire to work for us, like John Brennan and Clapper and all of them who wants to save their butts. 
just telling us, you know, what this Russian disinformation. And then they parroted it all over the place. Now, I didn't expect Kennedy to get involved with this and take that same approach. She does that. And look what Giuliani does to her for her acting up. He had to whoop the kids. Check this out. There are three other references. Right. And then if you look at the pictures, you see 50 oh, okay. pictures. All right. Of Come on, man. I, here's, here's what we'll do. We will have uh, the people in our news departments verify all of this because um, it sounds like there may be something here that is fishy that is causing Americans, it's giving them pause and other stuff that uh, might have been completely adulterated over the 18 months. And some could say that you were acting like Christopher Steele, that, that you were abstracting information. And uh, because... You've got to be kidding me. Did you hear that? That's where she went wrong. First of all, I detected the sarcasm in her voice. All right. <laughs> all right. Come on here. <laughs> like... What he's peddling doesn't make sense. He has no evidence, nothing to stand on. Now she's acting as if she's lost her common sense. She's acting as if she refuses to evaluate and put all the evidence together, which would make me question you as a reporter that you can't put that evidence together when I can do it. All of y'all watching my video can do it. Tucker can do it. Sean can do it. Uh, most sane Honest reporters can do it, but not Kennedy. And normally she sounds somewhat, I know she's a libertarian. Normally she sounds pretty sane, but this, and then to go so far is to bring up Christopher Steele and throw Giuliani in there with him. That's where she went wrong. And she's going to learn what not to do real quick. I was acting, I was acting like Christopher Steele. That's what it sounds like when well, you, you look at apologize. the people. That, you, that... Better, you better apologize for that. I mean, I've been a, I've been a United States attorney, associate attorney general, mayor of New York City and a member of the bar for 50 years. I've never been accused of anything. And you're accusing me of being Christopher Steele. I'm accusing you of That's acting outrageous in a capacity that you would do that similar based on nothing. To, to Christopher Steele and that similar you were going crook? back and forth between similar to Ukraine an obstructor of justice? and the United States. What you are States. saying is an outrageous defamation of me. Now, I think this is the point where she realized, oops. I might have gone a little too far trying to look like I'm being tough on him. See, it's not about being tough on whoever you bring on to the show if it's warranted. Meaning, if you get Joe Biden on the show and he's saying, I don't know anything, and you know that there's loads of evidence that shows he did know something, don't let him get away with that. Pressure him. But when somebody comes to you as a reporter and says, I actually have evidence I want to present to you. And you say, all right, all right now. And aren't you this being a little thick? And I'm going, see, you made the comparison like you was on CNN or MSNBC or something. You know, you threw him in the same category as Christopher Steele. I guess the dude that put together the fake phony dossier that Clinton paid for. But now, instead of going and looking at this evidence hands on, she just throws that insult out there. And it changed the whole context of the conversation. Giuliani is hot now. All in his mind, he's thinking, what? Christopher Steele? I can't let this go now. I'm about to feed it to you. And you're going to see her try to do the moonwalk in a minute, but it ain't going to work because she's not Michael Jackson. Let's get it. Of my reputation, every single thing is here. And I want you to look at it. I and would, then you apologize to me. Look at it. Well, you can you can you can come to my office and you can look at it. And tomorrow night you can apologize to me. For Very saying good. I'm like Christopher Steele. I told you there are underage girls there. There are. I told you there are documents that show that he's getting 10 percent. There are. There are documents that show that he's getting half of what Hunter gets. There are. And when they're there, I want you to apologize to me okay. because you I just defame me. Absolutely. And that's outrageous because you have no basis for that. Now, you tell him, Julie. See, this woman, for whatever reason, thought he was just going to lay down and roll over to that type of accusation. So you're telling me then that Rudy's willing to put his whole career on the line, lay out the information for everybody to read and see for what? Nothing. You're telling me that Rudy just say, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and destroy my own career for nothing. I came on your show in good faith to give you evidence that is being withheld from the American people and I get defamed. That's outrageous. 
All right. Are you still working on behalf I of the think, president? I think our interview. I think our interview is now over. I haven't even gotten to the part about Borat or the part about 1994 and the Video Music Award. Now, did y'all hear her trying to moonwalk? She tried to change that up real quick. She tried to pivot. I'm sure who's ever in her ear was like, all right, all right, this is it's not going your way, Kennedy. All the viewers of Fox are going to look at you like you're shit. Or they're going to throw you in the category of Juan and Juan Williams. Or they might even say, why don't you just scoot yourself right on over to MSNBC with Rachel Maddow or somebody? Because what you're talking about is records. And he points it out. He's upset. Now he, she's trying to change the subject. All right. All right. All right. Cool. I mean, are you still talking about, you know, working with the Trump administration? He's like, look, man, I think this is over. What? Now she's going to try to be buddy. Baby. Come on, Julie, baby. We just got the. No, 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 no. You just insulted me. When you throw a person in the category of a criminal and she's been watching the whole case of the FBI, CIA, um, you know, DOJ, all of those crooks who tried to get Trump. We followed that the whole time. We found out who was really supporting the fake phony dossier, who was behind financing it. All of that, you know, by now it was all corrupt. And now all of a sudden, Somehow she makes the parallel between Judy, Julie, Ani, and, and Steele. She's trying to say that somehow he's putting together all of this fake information. How? Where's What's the basis of this? Did she not read anything before she brought him on the show? You sound like an idiot. You sound like someone that's in denial. You sound like someone who has been manipulated by the liberal media because I get on Facebook and I hear folks talking about it's been debunked. You ask them how, they don't know. They get on there and they, we all know it's a lie. How do you know that? Because the media told us. So you must be just as dumb as Kennedy because you didn't look at the evidence. No one could look at this evidence and come to the conclusion, not only that they were corrupt, but you will really be stupid if you say this information is a Russian disinformation operation. How? None of that makes sense, and Kennedy don't make sense, and Giuliani is about to stick a fork in her. Let's check this out. That was the last time you and I were on camera, and it's taken this long, and and these, yeah, look and, at and that it, beautiful I, 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 photograph I, I, of you and me This may be the last time Bill we'll Bellamy. be on camera, because I don't let people call me Christopher Steele. I'm sorry. Christopher Steele is a criminal. You're asserting that I'm a criminal. I'm that asserting I that documents. Eastern Europe is a cesspool, and American politics... I didn't politics get them from Eastern Europe. I didn't get them from Eastern Europe. You are now repeating lying propaganda from the Democratic National Committee and the crooked Biden family. Now, she just brought in Eastern Europe as a cesspool, which shows me she's dumb. Or either she doesn't know the facts behind the information that Giuliani has. Not once did he say, yeah, uh, I brought this from Russia here or some guy Smirnov gave it to me or some Ukrainian person gave it to me. All it would take was to find out where that laptop came from. A, an American laptop repair shop. He wasn't Russian who owned it. He kept a copy, gave a copy to the FBI who did nothing with it. Okay. FBI, CIA, all of those places came out already and said, this is not a Russian disinformation hit. Um, the guy in the laptop repair shop doesn't speak Russian. He turns it over. He keeps a copy because for whatever reason, the FBI never did anything with it. So he turns the copy over to Giuliani and you look at it and it's Hunter's signature on there. You can't piece this. Thing. What, what, at what point did any of this appear to even remotely include Russia? But yet she brings up Eastern Europe like this laptop got sent from them. And somehow those crafty Russians were able to combine all of these elements to just run perfectly, smoothly, and then get people in America on board with this. And then questioning Giuliani's ability to recognize that I'm being played by what Ukraine or Russia. So what she's either saying is either you're dumb and allowing yourself to be played by Russia or some other foreign actor or you're corrupt like Christopher Steele, and you know this is bootleg, and somehow you done put this out there to try to smear Joe Biden. She's done.
I would never watch her again. If she, and when I watch the five from now on and she starts speaking, I'm going to turn the volume down just like I do when I hear wine and wine. Okay, because I don't trust anything she has to say after this stupidity. Let's finish. I had nothing to do with Eastern Europe. I got this from the the repairman who corroborates it. Now, I don't think that's Rudy's style. I don't think it's his style. I mean, she knows Rudy. So somebody, I mean, I'm, without even the details, when I've been hearing all of the narratives coming from the fake news, bringing in Russia, I off grip knew that was a lie. How is she even tying this together with Christopher Steele? How is she even coming to this question to even ask or, you know, throw out that type of statement when nothing about the information that she's, you know, talking about or Giuliani's presenting has any, any ties to Russia? But yet you're going to, for some reason, lose your mind temporarily. I don't know if you're trying to act like, well, I'm trying to be fair and balanced. That's that point where trying to be fair and balanced comes across as trying to be stupid. That's what it is. And boy, she sounded real stupid right now. And she caught it in her face. Uh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I might have went too far over the skis and he's hot now. Let's listen to how he dismounts on her. All right. Do you regret? I have. This is this is Hunter Biden's. This is Hunter Biden's material. It is proven a hundred times over. And I have a voice recording of him in which he talks about being in business with a Chinese spy master. Maybe you should play the recording. You hear that? Giuliani just called her out because she sounds like someone on the internet just getting her news from big taglines coming from CNN or MSNBC. You know, how are you going to miss that? How are you even going to put that out on the table like that's even a possibility? Bringing up Eastern Europe. That shows me that either you have been gotten to or you are a horrible journalist and didn't even read the notes before he came on the show. I guess you just out there like, oh, now you want to read up on the facts here, uh, Kennedy, before you come? Nah, I'll work it out throughout the interview. All right. So are you involved with the Russians? You know, this this right here, as mad as he is right there, I can feel his pain and anger because Kennedy's not dumb. I'm thinking, what is wrong with you? The whole tone of your voice is downplaying evidence that's laying out there in front of everybody. And somehow you're connecting Eastern Europe. Who got to you? Where's the real Kennedy? Let's finish this. And see if I don't have it. It's been all over the internet today. And if you were better informed, you would have known that. Oh, I've I've read plenty about this. I have. And it's... it's. Have you, have you heard the recording that's been out there all day of Hunter Biden saying that he is in business with the Chinese spy master, Patrick Ho, and that his big partner, the richest man in China, may be dead? And that he and his father may be called as witnesses. Did you hear that one? No, we Did have, we have not been able to verify large swaths of the material that has allegedly come. That's because you, that's because you don't want to verify. So let me understand this. There was a recording surfacing around. Nothing. Nobody. I would fire my producer if I was Kennedy. What, how you let this slip on me? Before Rudy gets on to my show, I should have heard that by now. Either she wasn't looking or she's just a horrible reporter or she's been gotten to because the, that information that Giuliani is presenting, you know, how you, the first tail sign that, all right, something's going on here, is none of the liberal media wants to see it. They're just going to say, you know what, we trust the people telling us that, you know, this is Russian disinformation. They know it's not. They know it's not. So does she. So my question is, why is she even pretending? to act like there's no real legitimate evidence. I mean, it's obvious something looks like it could be going on, but you know, come on, come on. No, come on. Something looks like it'd be going on with you. I would love to verify uh, your, 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 it. Uh, I'm, I'm your Mrs. Sister, verify it. Your sister, your sister, your sister ent entity, the New York Post has verified it. It I took love five days to do it. Yes, Why don't you talk I to had, them? I have the opinion editor from the you Post on the show. You think, they're printing f you think they're printing false material? You think Rupert Murdoch would let them print false material? Heavens no. Just because I gave it to them? No. Uh, do, you, do you regret... Uh, you think I'm an idiot and I'm going to print false material? Do you regret your interaction in the Borat movie? No, that's a stupid question, isn't it? No. So let me get this straight. You have Mayor Giuliani on it with some amazing evidence that could allow you to be a hero, but you choose to be a zero. 
You brought him on there to switch and pivot to some dang Borok? What are you talking? What are you doing? What kind of journalist would say, you know what? Let's get into that whole element of, um, you know, the slime type, you know, uh, type of interviews. You know, let, let's go ahead and get down and dirty with um, the inquirer that I see in the grocery line type stuff instead of playing with the big dogs and trying to crack a nut. We all know Barack is all full of games. We know that. He tried to get Trump and Trump caught it. You know, the media is very tricky when it comes down to editing. Giuliani right here, he's like, that's a stupid thing to ask. Of course, you got a few minutes to go in hard on something serious, but you bring up Borak? You pivoted because he was getting in you and he sniffed you out. I guess you trying to act like, you know what? Uh, this is important. Uh, I see I ticked you off, but I want to ask more questions. And No, it's over. You've ruined that date. It's over. You came into the date talking reckless and immediately he's like, well, I don't want to sit here and listen to all this. Check, please. She blew it. But I guess Borak and that story about that, which would do nothing but undermine Giuliani to the liberal media and also the idiots who believe in this whole Russia disinformation thing by smearing him with some stupid Borak, um, you know, issue. All that is, is a, a, a big old fat softball thrown right over to the liberal media and all the idiots who believe them to say, well, how, why should we believe Giuliani? Uh, the Borak video shows that he's, uh, all that stuff. I'm going to, what they got to do with the evidence? So Kennedy, since you refuse to look at the evidence, um, instead you get sarcastic, you're deserving this big black eye he's giving you. It's not stupid really at stupid all. Question. I have Just a 15 year old daughter. I the, watched that and I was I was kind of grossed out by it. I'm I'm giving you a chance to explain. Well, I, well, I, I, I called the police when I realized that it was a scam. I called the police and he ran away. Because uh, the minute the minute she said something compromising, I called the police. Whether you believe it or not, I was tucking my shirt in. He made it appear as if it was something different. The minute she said she wanted to give me a massage, uh -huh. I called my security guy and we called the New York City Police Department who came there and Borat and his 50 man crew ran out of the place. All right. So that's what happened. Finest Would you like to ask me any other in the world? Any other any other question to, to attack me for merely coming on your show to show you what criminals they are from a hard drive that's been verified by about 50 people including the New York Post. No, I'll see you tomorrow. Now, I'll read it for myself. Like I'll, I'll put my eyeballs on it. I can't wait. Uh, thank you for well, your time, well, Mr. Maybe, Mayor. Well, maybe you should have done some research in I advance did a lot of and research. listened to the tape recording. I have not loved this conversation. I find this conversation totally insulting. You don't, you don't accuse someone of being a criminal without any evidence. I didn't say you were a criminal. speculation. I did not say you were a criminal. You said I was like Christopher Steele. Christopher Steele is a criminal. All right. Christopher Steele made up a totally fraudulent report. I know that case because I represented the president of the United States and got him acquitted. And I know who Christopher Steele is. Christopher Steele is a piece of junk. He's a horrible person who made up a totally false All report right. and he was paid close to a million dollars by Hillary Clinton to do it. And your your media for four years yep. generated false charges against the president of the United States based on Christopher Steele's fraudulent report. Now you hear her? after getting a verbal lashing to where she just pretty much tapped out and let him just talk to her because you know that man's mad when you ignore obvious evidence. Here he is trying to do the right thing. We've all seen how the liberal media has been working. We've all seen how the Democrats have been working. We've all seen the corruption of the DOJ, FBI, CIA, all of those industries. We've all seen that stuff. And yet, instead of her saying, well, heck, we might just be able to blow the lid off of this one. She decides, I'm going to go after Giuliani and compare him to a full-blown criminal. Now, when you're not a criminal, see, the way he's reacting is the way that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden should be reacting. When you're accused of something and you know it's a lie and it, 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 it damages your reputation, all of that, you are mad. You go in on a hard and she senses it. Now she's like, oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to infer that this man that has a wonderful career, wonderful legacy, has somehow 
got down in the gutter and start playing like the dirty, nasty Dems play by comparing his work and the stuff that he has to Christopher Steele. You put him on that level? Are you kidding me? Man, are you for real? I understand this man's anger. And so if Joe Biden and Bootleg Hunter wasn't guilty, they would be on this show saying, hey, don't be putting my name out there like that. I ain't do none of that crap. But no, no, they're all sitting back hiding, allowing folks like her and other fake news net networks run cover for them. That's what I'm talking about, man. Fox better get, you know what? Even if she stays on Fox, I would never support her again, ever. She's done. She wasn't necessarily my favorite, but I never seen her coming out doing something like this. She's done in my eyes. When she comes on, I'm going to go. My eyes are closed. La, 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 la. I can't hear anything. <sighs> Get her, Julie. I am not Christopher Steele. Very and good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I we deserve an that. apology for that. I'm glad you came on the show. And Thanks I, for being I, here, Mr. I, Mayor. I appreciate it. Well, I'm not glad. I now, did y'all see her pull the parachute to the point where she's like, good. Okay. I'm glad you came on the show, Mayor. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, you're not glad. You're not glad. See, you brought that avalanche down on yourself. You knew all the signs said, beware of avalanche. And what do you do? Get up there like, yo, lady. And brought the whole avalanche down on yourself. You should have kept your mouth quiet. You knew you were in danger, but you didn't. You had an opportunity to be one of the people who exposes and cracks this case wide open. And you choose to go the slime ball route. I don't get it. Maybe with those big old glasses on, she can't see. Because I'm thinking, man, I could crack this case right here from my laptop. And here you are talking about, don't you think you're acting like Christopher Steele and mentioning some Eastern Europe? Has nothing to do with any of this evidence. And yet, the fake news, along with now Kennedy, I guess, has been convinced or are actually trying to convince half of the country that this is Russia disinformation. And they bought it. A lot of folks have bought that. And Kennedy helped contribute to it. Make me sick to my stomach when I see stuff like that. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, God bless y'all. Thanks for checking out my video. we see you next time. Kevin's Corner. Just want to say thanks for checking out the video. Please check out KC Uncensored, my personal site, where you'll get uncensored material from me along with some archives. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. The link is below this video. If you click on it and put Kevin in a promo code, you'll get a 20% discount. And finally, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And if you'd like to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, there's links below this video to do that as well. Okay, God bless you and God bless America. Take care.